This episode is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Is 0.9 recurring equal to 1? Let's take a look in this video. Well, 0.9 recurring is very close to 1. But just how close? Let's take a look. Let's start with a number line. Let's get one thing straight. Any two numbers that are different will have some space between them on a number line, so that the number line stays continuous. Just a reminder that 0.9 recurring means that the 9s never stop. There is an infinite amount of 9s after the decimal point. So if 0.9 recurring and 1 are different numbers, there must be at least some space present between them on the number line. Let's zoom into the number line. Can you think of a number that would fit between 0.9 recurring and 1? Here lies our problem. All numbers are either less than 0.9 recurring or greater than 1. But if there is no number in between, we would break the continuity of the number line. This means there is no gap, which can only mean one thing. This means that the statement 0.9 recurring is equal to 1 is indeed true. Do you still not believe me? Let's look at another proof to confirm our belief that 0.9 recurring is equal to 1. Time to look at proof number 2. Algebra Let x equal 0.9 recurring Let us multiply both sides of this equation by 10 10x is equal to 9.9 .9 recurring But wait, we can rewrite the right side as 9 plus 0.9 recurring And 0.9 recurring is just equal to x so now we have 10x is equal to 9 plus x, which further simplifies to 9x is equal to 9. Dividing both sides by 9, we get x is equal to 1. We already know that x is equal to 0.9 recurring, so we have 0.9 recurring is equal to 1. Time to look at proof number 3, geometric series. A side note. When the ratio of an infinite geometric sequence is less than 1, we can find its sum. Let a be the first term and r be the common ratio. The formula on the left will give us the sum. a divided by 1 minus r. We can rewrite 0.9 recurring as 0.9 plus 0 0.09 and so on. We can further rewrite this as 9 tenths plus 9 one hundredths plus 9 one thousandths and so on. Now factoring out the 9 tenths, we get 9 tenths plus 9 tenths times 1 tenth and so on. And every time we increase by a factor of 1 tenth. This is an infinite geometric sequence with first term a is equal to 9 tenths and the common ratio r is equal to 1 tenth. Plugging it into our formula, we get 9 tenths divided by 1 minus 1 tenth, which further simplifies to 9 tenths divided by 9 tenths, which is obviously 1. 
point 0.9 recurring is equal to 1, our three valid proofs have proved that. Are you boggled by this? We actually do this all the time. For example, when we say one third is equal to 0.3 recurring, we are essentially saying the same exact thing. This is one of the rare examples where being close enough is actually mathematically precise. Here is a problem for you to try. Is 0.16 recurring equal to 1 sixth? Is it true or false? Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos and be sure to hit that like button. See you in the next video.